This is going to be a short video. I hope that it's also kind of a funny video. I really hope it's funny because if not, you're probably going to be thinking, wow, Paul's a world-class buffoon. This is really how he keeps track of his spending categories. Uh, but honestly, none of that matters because here's why the American Express Business Platinum is really cool and worth having. It's made of metal. If you like this video and this kind of content, check out some of our other videos, hit like on this video, leave a comment, ask a question, join the conversation, and make sure to subscribe to the Travel Punks channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified when we release another video. One of the things that stops people from getting into the travel rewards hobby is the logistics. It usually means getting more credit cards, having more dates to manage, which make sure to check out my video on how to mark your calendar in order to keep your credit cards under control. But also you need to make sure you're using the right credit card for the right purchase. That way, instead of getting one point or one frequent flyer mile or one cent of cash back per dollar, like most credit cards do, you're getting one and a half points, two points, three points, even five points per dollar if you spend with the right card in the right category. This is going to exponentially increase how fast you earn these points and enable you to travel the world for free in premium cabins and at nice hotels at the drop of a hat. But if it's feeling a little overwhelming for you to have more than one credit card, some people don't like to change which credit card they use from day to day for each purchase because they can't keep it straight in their heads which is the right card for which spending category. My life only works because I create systems around it. I forget which card I'm supposed to use as well, at least when I first have the cards. And so it helps for me to have a system to use the right card for the right spending category. This is gonna be a short video. I hope that it's also kind of a funny video. I really hope it's funny because if not, you're probably gonna be thinking, wow, Paul's a world-class buffoon. This is really how he keeps track of his spending categories. Yes, I do. This is my very high-tech solution for how to spend with the right card on the right category. And I hope that it absolutely blows your mind how tech forward I am with this. So it involves a, uh, a highly sophisticated process of adhesive labels. This is a shipping label. You can also use uh, mailing labels or if you have a label maker, you can use that. Or most low tech of all, you can use paper tape, masking tape to mark your cards when you first get them so that you know what to spend with this card on. So for example, this is the American Express Business Platinum card. It's a really cool card. It has a lot of uh, high-end travel perks in exchange for a fairly high annual fee. If you travel a lot, you're probably gonna get a lot of use out of it if you're a small business owner looking into the American, Exp uh, the American Express Business Platinum card. It currently has an increased sign-up bonus of up to 100,000 American Express membership rewards points, which are very valuable uh, in terms of redeeming premium cabins on a number of different airlines. Uh, but honestly, none of that matters because here's why the American Express Business Platinum is really cool and worth having. It's made of metal. Don't even bother trying to look at the security code by the way or screenshot if this particular card is expired. Let's not worry about that 100,000 point sign up bonus for now. What I want to talk about is what this card is good for spending on. What it's good for is large purchases, purchases of $5,000 or more. On those purchases, it gets one and a half membership rewards points per dollar. More. So I'm going to start making notes. 1.5x on 5k or more. See what I did there? As you can see, this is a very high tech process. So if you want to make fun of me in the comments, I'm flying round trip from Houston to Tokyo first class next month. So you're going to have to do a little bit better if you want to hurt my feelings. So moving on. Another great bonus category of the American Express Business Platinum is that you get five points per dollar spent on flights and hotels if you purchase them through the Amex travel portal. Five X points, that is huge. That's something like a seven and a half or better percentage return on your spending, which you can't get with almost any other credit card. So I'm gonna write down five X on flights, hotels, and in parentheses, I'm gonna put Amex Travel. 
so I know that I can't just spend on any website to get that. I have to spend it on the Amex travel portal. In general, you'll have access to the same deals as, uh, as if you use Travelocity or Expedia or something like that. So that's the next category. There's a couple of other things I wanna put on here. I'm not gonna put every benefit that the Amex Platinum carries with it, the Business Platinum. I'm just gonna put on benefits that apply to whether or not I'm going to pull out this card and use it to spend on any given purchase. So I'm gonna put $200 airline fee. This means that the first $200 I spend on fees for a specified airline, or if I'm business class and first class, any airline, that just gets refunded to my card, no questions asked. Airline fees include in-flight purchases like food and booze, or checked bags, uh, extras, any extras or perks that might be available for sale on your uh, movies, internet, anything that you buy uh, adjacent to the flight. It's not good for the flight itself, it's not good for taxes and fees, however it often is good for gift certificates that you purchase from your selected airlines. So uh, you could end up buying gift certificates and using those for the, for, for the airfare. Uh, and apply your airline fee credit that way. So I wrote down $200 airline fee credit and also the Amex Business Platinum gives you $200 uh, Dell credits. So if you shop with Dell, Dell computers, uh, you'll get $100 credit in the first half of the year and another $100 credit the second half of the year. So that's only really worthwhile if you purchase a lot from Dell, but if you do, good little perk. So. Now I have my super high-tech uh, information age way of remembering what this particular card is good for. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. This might be a little big. This might make your card look a little bit stupid. You lose some of the cool factor of, because it's got a big fat label on it, but whatever, this is temporary. There's a learning curve to these cards and eventually it'll become second nature for you to use each card for its best purpose. So let's see if I screwed it up. You wanna make sure to, yeah, I made this too big. You don't wanna cover the chip and you don't wanna cover the stripe, but anything else is kind of fair game. So I'm gonna put this on the back. I made it a little too big. And now my card is marked for what it is good for. And if I am trying to figure out what to use for a particular purchase, I can sort through my wallet and look for the little reminders I've left for myself in order to decide which card to use for its maximum benefit on each purchase. This is the process, as silly as it looks, of getting information out of your head and into the world where it can be systematized. Anything that's just dancing around your head trying to be remembered is an open loop. Anything that you can get out of your head declutters your mind, allows you to forget about it. It's a set it and forget it tactic that will help you systematize uh, maximizing your spending, the spending you're already doing, hotels you're already going to purchase, flights you are already going to buy for your business pur purposes, uh, in-flight booze you were already gonna buy, purchases you were gonna make from Dell that allow you to maximize the points you get from your everyday spending so you can travel the world for free thanks to American Express and a bunch of other generous banks who are willing to put you on the road on their dime. Thanks guys, couldn't have done it without you. If you like this video and this kind of content, check out some of our other videos, hit like on this video, leave a comment, ask a question, join the conversation, and make sure to subscribe to the Travel Punks channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified when we release another video. Peace out from the fucking Travel Punks. See you in Tokyo.